Leslie Kimutai. Uh, I came to the University of Maine in August through the Kenya Youth Program. That's that's me. I'm pursuing computer engineering, and so far it's fine. We are almost at the end of the coursework for fall. Yeah, so far it's going well. I have an assignment and a homework on Friday, so no to bad. So Leslie, uh, if someone is coming to do computer engineering at this university, yeah. what should they expect? Maybe in terms of uh, the coursework. We should do a programming, C programming, for me it's C programming, and they should do a lot of it. Okay. If they do it, then they are set. Okay. Is the course tough? No, not too tough. I did microprocessor technology, my bachelor's university in Nairobi. A lot of science, <laughs> a lot of science on the road, Yeah. a lot of science even in, in buildings. The exits, our building don't have a lot of signs, yeah, that's what struck me most. A okay. lot of lights, lights like red for exit, blue for biking, yeah, there are a lot of, a lot of signals. You are watching Success with Bob Mweti Show, presented to you by Upstech America. Upstech America is a consulting company that helps immigrants find amazing higher education and job opportunities in the tech industry in the United States. You can find our programs by going to www.upstechamerica.com. Upstech America, we wake you up to the unlimited potential. The weather. The weather is chilly, uh, but it's not too bad. It will, uh, here towards December, it will get worse, but so far, I'm loving the weather. Ah, it's been a trip, because not having Ugali and tea, their tea is bad. <laughs> they, are, <laughs> they have decarbonated tea, which is, that's not tea. Tea yes. is supposed to have some caffeine. Yeah, so the the food is not too bad but we try we get some and it feels like home and i also have a lot of friends uh, we are a group we are like six right now in kenya so it's not too bad how do you spend your free time around playing soccer, soccer? Playing soccer yeah. there's a gym that is free for students so i go swimming i go play soccer I, I, I intend to learn squash. There are a lot of few games that these people know, which is no back in Kenya. Yeah, so I intend to do a lot of that. The food, chapati. Chapati and beans. Uh, you haven't taken chapati since you came? Not really chapati. They, are, they have different stuff, which is not the tears. same the, it's not the same as chapati back home the university of maine the coolness because it's not in an urban center so the air is cool everything the people are just chill they, they hold doors for you they, are, they, they smile at you so it's not like you're in a rush to do anything so you just take everything in your own place the opportunities here, there are a lot. I, uh, the career fair was just last month. I dropped like 16 resumes. Ah, they have a lot of opportunities for us. So if you just take it slow, do your coursework, over the summer you find a place you want to work, you apply for an internship. I have not yet reached there, but God willing, that will be, that will be it. And you can get a company, you can work there, and then do the OPT over there too, if that works, or another company, because there's a lot of opportunities. Electrical engineering and civil. That was stood out most. Kenya was, Kenya was tough, so I went to Namibia because my parents had friends there. And it wasn't too, the, the experience wasn't as 
it would have been in Kenya because Kenya is they just asked me what I'm going to study and if I will they didn't even ask me why I'm doing it in Namibia which was a question I'm prepared for so they just asked me why I chose human and why I chose the course and if I did a bachelor's before that that's all that's all? yeah that's all he saw my bracelet and <laughs> I can see you from Kenya. Yeah. Yeah, and it just started. Wow. And how, how long did the interview take? Like four minutes? No, three. It was a short it was the shortest interview I've ever done. Yeah. yeah. They didn't take any documents. They took the DS160. I had the, the bunch of documents, my my bank statements, my empower loan confirmation. They didn't ask for any of it. They just asked me how will you be paying for your coursework. I told them I have an, an student loan, but they didn't ask for the documents. It's happy. Um, it was. It was. It was something I needed. Yeah. Okay. Keep on pursuing. Keep on keeping keeping the faith, and it will happen. It will happen. Everything is possible. So, just keep on hammering at it. Pushing, yeah. yeah. You have been watching Success with Bomwiti Show, brought to you by Upstake America. Come back again next time to learn concepts tools, strategies, and resources on the path of becoming a successful immigrant in USA through real-life experiences. Be sure to subscribe to Bob Mweti channel on YouTube and also follow him on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn.